what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i know i've been out for uh quite a few months but you know just know that i've been working on something personal very important to me so i do appreciate your patience uh and welcome back to the channel so today i have a project paint job that we're gonna do uh so let me just go ahead and flip the camera and i'll go ahead and show you all right so here it is this is a 2006 volkswagen jetta and we're gonna go ahead and paint this car um the original color is a shadow blue but we're not gonna do a color match um i'll show you right now in a minute uh, i've been working on this car like just over the weekend the hood right here it's black i had previously painted that one and black was the only color i had at the time so uh, it's already sanded it you know for the most part it was just flaky clear uh all over the car so i went ahead and just prepped it over the weekend and i removed right now i'll cover right here so we can get some shade i don't want the heat you know to affect any part any part of the paint job but um i went ahead and removed some parts that were just easier to remove than to waste tape and trying to mask them uh the mirrors and stuff like that but i went ahead and taped the windows around the doors you can still open the doors all the way if you needed to. Uh, sunroof and the antenna back there, the back window. Now for the windows, I went ahead and back taped right here, like on the trunk. That way, you know, the overspray doesn't go inside. Uh, same as over here in the front. I just back taped from the hood down. That way, you know, no overspray can go into the engine compartment. Um, but other than that, you know, the wheels are covered back here. The tail lights are removed. It was just easier to remove two bolts than to mask around the tail lights. There's the emblem. I went ahead and removed the wing. It's just easier to paint the whole trunk uh, without the wing. And yeah, so the car is, you know, for the most part, it's uh, it's prepped. I mean, ready, sanded. I'll just give it a final wipe down before we begin spraying anything. As for the color um like i said this original color was a shadow blue but i'm not gonna do a color match i'm gonna do another blue similar but i still don't know what's gonna come out so it's gonna be a surprise for all of us um right here i have a base coat and this is a mix of leftover paints that i had and it's actually black of a mixture of black paints uh in there some some have metallic some don't but it's black um, I'm going to use some duplicate color specialty reducer. You can find this one at O'Reilly's, just a reducer. Uh, over here I have the clear coat. It's the Speedo Coat Speedo Line Clear with the medium speed activator. And you can find this one at Speedo Coat. I'll leave the eBay link in the description. Uh, really, you know, cheap is a good price and really good, you know, quality and stuff. The only difference is that I added couple of packs of pearl into the clear coat so that's what's going to make it blue uh in here i added blue sea sea blue purple and violet so it's a mixture between blue and violet blue and purple so it's all going to be a surprise to all of us so we'll see what comes out but once i get to mixing some paint and laying uh i'll show you guys what the colors look like uh, but yeah, so let me just go ahead and finish prepping right here. Another thing, as for the compressor or spray guns that I'm going to be using, I think I'm going to use the McGraw. This is a 29 gallon compressor. Uh, you can find this one at Harbor Freight. So this is a 29 gallon, 165 PSI max. Uh, it's a V-twin piston and it's a belt driven. So really nice compressor. I also have the Centro Pneumatic over there, which is a uh, side by side uh, piston right here, but it's twin also 29 gallons and 155 max psi So for this project, I haven't used any of these towards a full paint job So for this project, I'm going to be using this one the McGraw and For the spray gun check it out. I'm going to be using the spectrum HTE compliant So this is a high transfer efficiency uh, this is a 1.3 tip, so also from Harbor Freight, the Spectrum brand, 
and I've used this one several times and it's done really really good uh, it sprays very beautiful so I'm gonna use it I have the 3m airflow control valve right here so yep that's the setup that I'm going to use so like I said let me just go ahead and finish prepping right here and I'll cut you back in once we're ready to start painting all right, so first things first is going to be the base. So this is a mix of blacks. Some have metallic, some have pearls. Overall, it's just a nice uh, dark base. I'm gonna go ahead and reduce it with the specialty reducer by half, two to one. All right, so I just uh, finished spraying the base coat, uh, the black mix, whatever. Um, I did uh, three coats. I made sure to cover everything, and the car is looking way, way better already. Uh, so it is black, and I did say I was gonna paint it blue. And like I said, the clear coat is the one that has a pearl. So once I add the clear coat with the pearl, that's gonna make it change color into a blue. Uh, but this is the color. Um, it's dark black, but it, it does look gray. 
Uh, I'm not too sure if I had added um, Storm Blue from a Nissan RBD. And I think just a tad bit of white, which kind of makes it look like Indian ink. But it's still like a dark base, so this is really good. Uh, especially for some leftover paints that I had. And um, yep, so the whole car is already painted. The base looks really good. Uh, it's been a few minutes, so I'm just going to leave it a few more minutes just so we could uh, flash dry, make, sh make sure that everything is nice and dry. I don't want no solvent uh, pops or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, after that, I'll go ahead and just uh, shake up the clear coat. And once I pour it in the cup, I'll show you guys. That way you can see the blue. It's really, really nice. So uh, I'll go ahead and do that right now. And uh, so you guys can see it. All right, guys, so when I say uh, bags of pearl, I mean this. This is like a little Ziploc bag. Looks maybe like a gram. Um, but this is what I mean. I added four. So one was blue, one was purple, a violet, and a sky blue. So that's the amount right there, times four. And here is the clear with the pearl. So I'll take it out. I, I shook the can, that's why it looks like that. How bubbly. But uh there's the pearl. So it's just to make sure that everything is mixed. So once I add it to the spray gun and spray it, I don't want it to settle. So that's the color, blue. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just add the activator, medium speed, uh, mix it and pour it in the gun and start spraying. The car is ready, it's been a few minutes already. So this is just a black base, so let's go ahead and continue.
all right guys so here's the final result um, so we kind of ended up with the original color very similar really close the clear laid down pretty nicely you know and there's the blue go ahead and get uh, right here uh, the grill goes there so I didn't bother wasting paint there but look at that color and like I said um, the color is just on the clear made out of the pearls so we used the it was like a black um, kind of gray it looked like a uh, base and then the color was just uh, from the pearls so very nice over here in the shadow you can see the color I turned on the flash so you guys can see but it looks really really nice as well just really dark deep blue check that out this is very nice um, so yeah so of course just gonna let the clear coat dry eventually I'm not sure if I'll uh, come back and you know just buff out the clear coat or uh, just get rid of it as is this is just a quick uh, you know flip I'm not sure what we're gonna do with the car but it was definitely really really ugly so I just wanted to fix it um, but really really happy the gloss came out really nice the color you know it's just amazing when it when you get in the shade you can see like the real real deep blue uh, with the sun with the sun you can see the color very nice and uh, sometimes you know if you look at it at a certain angle you'll see the color is kind of like the base is kind of gray not too dark like black like uh, Indian ink or give or take I don't know <laughs> but uh, overall pretty happy uh, really happy with the way you know the spray gun performed the Spectrum HTE uh, even the compressor I was using the McGraw and uh, just, um, you know, for Harbor Freight stuff, you know, it came out really, really nice. So, other than that, the bumper is just loose. I had to loosen up the bumper so I can remove the headlights. But uh, I wanted to paint the bumper together with the car. So, I just put it back loosely. Um, I didn't fix, like, damage dents on the car. So, it was just a quick fix. Um, but something we might just uh, replace or just like the grills uh, the main grill the bottom and the two sides uh, the headlights are pretty decent and uh, other than that yeah just remove the plastics just letting it uh, air dry for a bit but uh, just very very happy overall so let me know what you guys think uh, leave me some comments and yeah once again the base was just this mix of colors and then the clear coat was just a speedo coat with a few packs of of pearl like these and uh you know that made the color so <laughs> uh for to mix but um yep very very happy mm -hmm.